Yo, what up, angels? Y'all already know who it is. Your host, Angel. Who can you always story, story about the past or future? It all depends. It really does. So, yeah. So, this story time is about a time when my dad told me a real life zombie story, right? Yeah, you heard that right. I wish I was making this shit up. I wish I was really making this shit up, all right? So let me be honest with you, all right? Shit like this, all right? Crazy shit like that where I'm about to tell doesn't seem too far-fetched to me anymore, all right? Because from what I've been through for my life experience, like, like, if you told me that you somehow met an alien the other day, I most likely won't believe you, all right? Dead ass, like, I'm being dead ass, idiot. I'm not idiot. <laughs> honest with you, alright? I'm being dead ass, honest with you, alright? So, yeah, let's get started, alright? So, this story happened way back in my early childhood years, alright? Don't remember what age age I was, but I was somewhere like 8 or 9 or 10. And not 8 or 9, 10 grade, but I was like 8 or 9 or 10 or 11 or 12. Some shit like that, alright? I really don't remember, all right? I really don't remember, all right? And this is how the zombie story got told, all right? Because ever since I was a child, well, at least at a time, I was very obsessed with zombies, all right? I watched zombie movies. I would play zombie games. Ever since my I went to my uncle's house and my uncle played Resident Evil 4 on his PlayStation, I got hooked into zombies, all right? I got, like, very, like, Hook, all right. So I spent a, ma- a vast majority of my childhood, like childhood years, like watching zombie videos, like on YouTube. This and like watching zombie videos, watching zombie movies, like watching anything that can, like somehow like. Pr- and I will, and I will specifically watch videos that so so really are real zombie videos, and really it's just some stage made up type of shit though. So that's what I need you to know that I was obsessed with zombies. I was like really, I was really big fan of zombies back then, all right. So one day, right, I asked my dad, I'm like, "Hey, dad, is it, you think zombies are real or some shit?" That I sent some shit like that, right. And guess what? My dad told me, like, "Oh yeah." Once my great great grandpa told me a, a zombie story, you want to hear it? I'm like, yeah, really. And my go- and my dad was like, yeah, it really did happen. Like, like you could you could like find it up, like you could like search it up on Google, this and that. Like you could like find a story about it. Like search it up, say like this like this town, like this town today, like zombie real life zombie attack. So I ended up searching it. Well, I ended up searching it online. This and that. I couldn't find anything. Right, I couldn't find shit. Right. Uh, like exactly the same name of the town with that. I ended up searching records for it, and some for some reason I'm not able to find shit. All right, I'm not able to find anything like that. All right, like anything that like relating to the story. Right, so uh, so this pretty much tells me that it's either it's, the story is made up or really it did happen. The government really cover up. So I'm actually going with my intuition, right? That it really did happen. <laughs> so you're gonna see, all right? You're gonna see how bizarre the story is in a bit, all right? So he said it's some story, right? That somehow you're not able to tell. You're not able to find it. I'm, like so, so the only people that know in this world about the story is either my family members, my dad, and me. All right. So enough with the appetizer, right? Just let's get to the juicy part. Let's get to the meat part. All right. <clears throat> all right. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Base yourself, right? This, this is gonna seem like very, very, un- it's very unbelievable. Unbelievable, right? Let's get started, right? So somewhere in 1930s, right? Somewhere in 1920s, right? Somewhere in those years, right? I don't remember, right? There was this infection going around in this town, right? Some zombie outbreak happened, like it was like some rabies, right? So, 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 so from what I understand, it was like some rabies that somehow mutated into some zombie strain, some shit like that. So all the animals in town were infected with this virus, right? There was some virus that was going on, like some mad cause disease that it would cause the animals to act violent, like it would cause the animals to act violently, all right? At them like aggressive, like 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 they were zombies, like literally, like, and they'll try to bite you. That like shit like that, right? It wasn't just like goats or cows or pigs, right? It was like it was from dogs to cats to horses 
So animals, like every animal you think of that could exist with these humans in this town, right? So there's this zombie virus going on, right? Like some zombie virus are, right, going around, right? Some rabies, some, some shit like that, right? I, I'm going to say something that might blow your mind. So my dad told me that saying that my great grandpa and every every person in the town was on the roof, right? That everyone was on the roof, right? Like like living on the roof, right? For days, right? And like they took all the food and the water up there because like like the animals were very dangerous. Like if you get bitten with this shit, you're dead, right? So everyone was in on the roof, right? Every person in the town was on the roof, right? Living on the roof, this and this and that, like trying to get away from zombies, right? So this story happened like somewhere in the Wild West years, right? You wanna know something strange? You don't believe it. But I know you were playing Red Red Dead Redemption. The zombie one or the Undead Nightmare. And the exact same thing, right? Everyone is on the roof, right? Trying to avoid zombies. So I don't know if you can make a connection there, right? So just letting you know, people do not get stuff out of nowhere or just like that, right? People just don't make up stuff out of nowhere. They got off somewhere, right? Like, let me let me give you an example, right? <laughs> well, never mind. Forget how much time to you. okay. Since you okay, yeah, I'm gonna take an example, right? It's like where did the guy came up idea for a wheel? Obviously, they saw something round or something like that. Like they saw somewhere. That's why they got the idea to make the wheel, right? This is an example, right? Enough of that. So yeah. So everyone's on the roof, right? Like, everyone was living on the roof, this and that, trying to avoid the zombie animals on the ground, like, this rabies, like, and my dad said that they were acting like the zombie from 21 days later, 28 days later, I think that was called, where, I, like, all the zombies acting, like, fast and violently, like, like, ah, like, all violently and shit. So my great, so my great grandpa, right, and my, and their family, right, they were, like, living on the roof, right, this and that, and they had neighbors, right? So they spent days, right, living on roof, this and that, and they have food and water, and, and some of the neighbors were trying to run out, right? So they had the neighbor, right, from all the way across there, like, they could see them from a distance, like, like, the distance, and the guy would, like, shout out stuff, like, hey, I need some water, like, like, yeah, you think you can throw me some water or some shit like that? The guy asked for water, the neighbor asked for water, right? And I first mentioned that this guy was by himself, right? It was just him by himself, right? The, like, his family, like, they ended up leaving before the zombie out outbreak happened. So, yeah. So, for some reason, they, they they weren't able to escape no matter what, right? So, the hotel was infected, right? With this z ro zombie rabies animal type of stuff, all right? So, they said that they were trying to find a way to bring the water to them. Like, like at first, like, they tried throwing the water, right? Like, in small, like, I don't know, I don't know what they have, but contenders, right? Try to throw it and they wouldn't. For some reason, they weren't able to, re they weren't able to reach it far. So they decided to stop like, like wasting the water. So the neighbor got impatient, right? The neighbor was like, "Hey, I have enough of this. I need, I need some water. I'm almost to die here. It's either I die here on the roof or I die under there." So my neighbors, right? I mean, the, my great grandpa, right? My great family, right? They're watching the neighbor, right? So he saw the neighbor got fed up and he said, "Like, I I'm gonna get some water." So they, so they, so they went down, right? So the, so the neighbor, right? The neighbor got impatient, so he jumped off the roof, right? And went inside his house to get some water. And guess what happened? I will let you guess what happened next. Okay, this is what happened, right? So the neighbor went down to get some water. I never did start hearing the yelling, like ah, like ah. So I seen some yelling, like, like, horrific, like, yell, like, like, literally, like, you're eating alive. So they saw the guy, right, like, running outside, right? And there was, like, some cat, like, like, bit that's just raised, like, couldn't get off, like, like, ah, ah, ah. So the guy, so the neighbor had to grab the cat by his, like, neck and just, like, literally start to squeeze it off, right? Like, literally broke the neck and still wasn't enough, so he had to rip it out. And some of the check, like, flesh, like, ripped out with the freaking cat, right? So the cat was dead, right? Because the neighbor like broke the cat, broke the cat <laughs> neck, right? So this why this whole time the neighbor they were not trying to get off. The cat was acting like zombie, like 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 like, at, like literally attacking the man, like for no damn reason, right? Like so, yeah. 
So guess what happened next? Okay, this is, this is what happened. So they saw the neighbor, right? Like, as soon as he got the cat, right? As soon as he was able to get the cat off, he just act, started acting differently, right? So mind you, this is, a, this is being told from my from my ancestors, from my ancestors, right? That passed the story down to my great grandma that told my dad, right? All right. So this man, right? I thought he got the cat off him, man. Cat off him. He starts showing symptoms of rabies slash zombie, right? So within a minute, this guy started acting like a, like an animal, like started acting like a zombie. So he started, he started acting like a zombie, right? He saw like, like his, I don't really, like his eyes, like he said his eyes went white, right? His eyes went white like this. He's acting like a zombie, like this, ah! Like he started like, acting like a zombie, right? Like, and he, and he started trying like attack, like the neighbor, right? This guy started acting like a straight up zombie, road, like, like with Raven, right? It's some 28 days, like, with 28 days, like, like 28 days, like, 28 days, like, type of shit, bro, like straight up. So he started like, trying to like, attack the zombie neighbor, like, like, like trying to get off the roof, right? Like, trying to get on like, the neighbor, right? Because like, the zombie guy like, saw the neighbor, right? Because like, <laughs> saw the neighbor, right? <laughs> so mind you, the house were, were at least like, 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 well, at least in town, like, the house were at least like 50, 50 minutes away, right? So this guy was like wandering for a bit, right? Try, like, 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 like attacking anything he saw. Like, he wouldn't even attack animals like ghosts, like, like, they're like dry beats too. Like, he, like, this guy had blood on him. Like, this guy, like, had blood. Like, this guy was crazy, bro. This guy was out of mind. Like, this guy was like a blow, blow, blow zombie, bro. Like, I don't know why no one haven't told the story yet. Holy shit. <laughs> Hold on. There's something going on. So this guy had blood over him, this and that, and he saw the neighbor from this and so yeah, like he was attacking animals before he tried to attack them. So so my neighbor, right? So my neighbors couldn't do anything, right? The great grandpa, right? Like he couldn't do shit, right? So this so this zombie neighbor, he tried like tries to get on the roof of this one neighbor who didn't have guns for some reason. So my great grandpa did this, right? So, so, so mind you this, I forgot to mention that the while, while the guy was getting attacked by the cat, when the neighbor was getting attacked by the cat, like he tried to shoot some shots at the cat, but he missed up, but he didn't want to risk it too much because, because he hurt him. But, but, but they saw that, and even though he knew this, they thought, that's why they let him live for a bit because they thought that he was able to be immune to it or some shit like that, but they saw that no one that gets bit from the animals is a survivor. So this zombie, right, he tried to like, climb the, like, into the roof of the neighbors, right? So my great grandpa, bro, with the distance, right, with a rifle. So the neighbor was acting crazy, trying to get on the roof with his rifle, right? He aimed for his head and shot him, like, bah, and the bullet went, like, back at the, like, bah, like that. And, like, all brazen splattered to the wall, bro, like, straight up, like, fuck. This story is crazy, bro, like, holy shit. I get chills, bro, like, I know this shit is true, bro. I know it's true, bro. I know my, my, <laughs> my dad, my dad isn't, isn't the type to make up stories that, like this. My dad isn't the type to make up stories like that, you know? Especially on the spot, though. Especially, no one can, no one can make up this believable story on a spot like this. No one, bro, no one. So the guy got shot dead, right? Because my great grandpa, great grandpa shot him dead, though. So yeah, so so after that, they pretty much proved that anyone that get so after that, that's, that that pretty much proved that anyone that got bit from that virus or bit from an animal that's infected with the host like that is an ancient survivor. So yeah, that's why they let him live for a bit because they thought that somehow he's gonna be immune or some shit like that. But they saw that there's no service, so they shot him on the head dead. And that's my how they able to get rid of the zombies. And my dad told me this. They all started that one by one. So that guy was like a straight up zombie, right? So yeah, so this is how my ancestors survived, right? So so, so they just waited for like a couple more days, right? Like at least three more days, I think. I, th I think that that will happen. Like they wait for three more days. They saw that all the animals, right, in the ranch, right, in the ranch town, right? They all started die they all started dying one by one, right? One by one from the cat, zog, the cow. So eventually that all the animals in the town died, bro, for like for no for an unknown reason, right? For an unknown reason, right? So basically the story on how my ancestors survived the zombie apocalypse. It's crazy how like so yes hold on live did I tell say anything or say said everything um So yeah that's pretty much how they survived, right? 
I thought there was no survival, right? They say that with all the dead bodies, right? With all the dead bodies, right? And I don't they all burn inside a stick, right? And I think that they said that even those people with the hazmat suits. Nah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting mixed up there. Hold on. So yeah, they, they said even though there's people right with this hazmat hazmat suits, so, right? Mind you, this is happening somewhere in the Wild West, right? They said they had some suits on, but not like the modern suits they have on. But like they came to the town, and they all they all like they all got the animals right, and they all burned the animals right, and shit. <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, so basically, my after survived that shit, right? So yeah, so I just found that shit very crazy, right? How that how this shit happened, like, like, like. Okay, so yeah, so basically that shit happened, right? I can't believe that shit happened to my ancestors, right? So yeah, so let's. So the scary part is that I try to look up a story anywhere online from Google on Bing, and nothing comes up, bro. Like nothing comes up with that town's name, nothing, bro. So somebody tells me that they hit it, bro. They hit it, right? They hit it. So yeah, so um, looking back like, now, this happened like this. I, I don't know. I think at the beginning, I think I, think I got the date out of it wrong though. Like this already happened like somewhere like in the Wild West days, but like but like during when the everything was becoming modernized. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I just don't remember. My, it's crazy how I asked my dad story. Like, I, I barely called me and I ate hey, dad. Can you tell me like more about the story that like, somehow to put on my YouTube channel? And we're like, no, I don't have time for this. Stop calling me, cabrón. Like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, for some reason now, I tell my dad this story and he don't want to tell me no more about it. I don't know why. Because he knows that I have a YouTube channel and, and this shit gets out there, right? This shit's out there, bro. So yeah, so so basically that's how it happened, right? Uh, this cover up some shit like that. So yeah, so mind you, this that have other people that told me that some of the stories like this that my friend right B right he told me this story. Well, this happened a long time ago when he told me the story, saying that he was watching this conspiracy this this, this, this live YouTube channel, right? Like this guy was telling like some deep web like the conspiracy series, right? And there was one theory where about like this dead island story about. How this doctor made a zombie rise in this island and that no one that the zombie virus got out and that there was no survivors left though. That no survivors left. Like no survivors like were left alive, alright. So my dad told me the story, right? And my dad has the time to tell me this type of stories, alright. He had like told me lies, like stories that weren't true in the past, but let me but this is what <laughs> But my dad has told me some old crazy story, right? Which I'm gonna tell you the story since we're here, all right? Since we're in the Twilight Zone, Spooky Zone, the day is not here zone. <laughs> so my dad was the same person who told me that one time. Holy shit! I'm trying to remember all the stories. Hold on. So my dad was the same, was the same person who said that that one time my great grandpa. My ancestor once caught this woman, right? This woman that somehow turned into a bird that turned into a crow, then the crow turned into a bird and turned into a human. So they caught this bird, right, and put it into a cage. And my grand, my ancestors didn't know what to do with them, so my great grandpa was like, 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 no. At first, the the crow lady slash bird lady was like, no, let me now, let me out, let me out, let me out. They wouldn't let the thing out, right? So my great grandpa was like, like, hijo de chingada, te voy a quedar embarrado, hijo su puta madre, saying that I'm gonna fuck you up with this bar, right? So my, so my great grandpa grabbed this bar, right, this metal bar, <laughs> and went and 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 went inside the cage and killed the animal thing. So so he basically killed this weird weird witch though. Like so I told my dad, why did he kill the lady? Because my dad said that it was some evil witch. So yeah, I do believe in some evil witch though. Like my 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 ancestors, my ancestors won't kill people just for no reason, right? There's gotta be a reason why they killed that thing, all right? So basically, they killed a human that was able to turn into a bird. Just how they were, I don't know, hard to explain. So yeah, that's all you need to know. So basically, they killed it and they bite it. So back then, like, <laughs> it's funny how like since my ancestors can't get, get in trouble for telling that story, all right? Because it happened a long time ago. So yeah, so. I don't know, bro. Like, if if 
like they said they end up burying the their body, but like if scientists able to find their body, they can somehow prove that all this shit is real. But yeah, and and no short time that my dad with his own eyes, with his own mouth, told me that he experiences himself. Like he told me all the short times, but that's, a, that's for another video. So, but since since we're here, I'm gonna tell you the story time. So one time, one time, raise yourself. I do believe him. That that my family were at my house, right? My my grandma, my aunt, my uncle, they were at this one house. This is already happened when he was very young. He was somebody he was eight years old, right? Love my dad, love my dad. He said this that that one day, right? They're at night. That this one owl thing showed up and this one tree, right? I don't know why he burying shit. He said this one owl thing showed up on the roof, right? It wasn't like a normal sex owl, bro. It wasn't a normal sex owl, bro. Like, owl showed up on his branch, right? And he started, like, ho hooting, like, howling, like, howling at them, like, like, hoo, hoo, like, looking at them with their big-ass eyes. And my dad said their eyes were, like, this big, bro. Like, this fucking big, bro. Look, look, compared to my head, bro. Like, like guys, this big, bro. And my dad said, like, I don't know. I think it was that size of, like, it was, like, that big. I'm trying to paint a picture for you. And I don't know how, but, but look. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to show though, but like, okay, from the floor right from here, from the floor right to here, the owl was like this big though, like a big ass, like a fifteen year or fourteen or thirteen. It was big like a fourteen year old, bro. Like it was like a big ass owl. Like, like I don't know how much in feet, bro. Like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so the owl was like like basically like five five like. Like that tall, like it was like some tall ass owl, bro. Like, like I, maybe my dad over exaggerated the size of it. But guess what? My family started doing when they saw this massive ass owl, right? This huge ass owl, like this big ass owl, like bigger than than a fourteen year old. Like, I mean, I, I <laughs> best way to put it, like big ass, like a nine year old. Like, like it was like pretty big, like it was, like like a five four type of in human size, like a five like a five four like. It was that big, right? Like, I don't know, I don't know if I'm saying the measure is right, right? But, like, it was, like, a very massive owl. So, guess what my family started doing? So, my family started praying, right? <laughs> even my uncle started praying, right? My uncle would even, right? He started praying, right? So, they, they, they all started rasaring with the rosary, with the Catholic thing. They all started, like, saying, like, Catholic prayer, this and that, for the owls go away. And my dad, like, saw that, like, that, like, that once they said a certain word, I said that, oh, man, or some shit like that. And the owl just laughed. It just laughed like that. The owl just laughed like that. So my dad said he's never seen an owl like that ever again after that. So yeah, so... So yeah, so I just find all these stories crazy, alright? Tell me which one is your favorite. And, and what do you think about the zombie story? you think it's real or fake? <laughs> In my opinion, I think that story is real. I do believe I just did have to face some shit like that. Alright? So yeah, so <laughs> so yeah, so basically, like um, like 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 the reason why I do believe my dad about these stories is because like shit like that doesn't seem far fetched right now. I mean, shit like that doesn't seem shit like that doesn't seem far fetched like that anymore, right? Because because I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a court of right. I do witch trap, right? Just how I believe in the devil. I don't believe in the devil, but. I do believe in God, right? All right, that's what I'm saying, all right? I'm not that. Uh, you don't need to know much about it, all right? Just, you know, I that. So, yeah, so life as a cultist, that's what happens when you're a cultist, when you're in the life of magic, is that you start to see that the that the truth is more stranger than fiction, all right? All right, that's what I'm say. Let me repeat this one more time. You start to see that, that the truth is more stranger than fiction, right? Really? Really? <laughs> so, yeah, I gotta thank everyone who's in the same journey as me. So, yeah, so pretty much that's the end of it. So, yeah, pretty much I'm not able to find anything about it. But, yeah, like, hey, if you somehow know about it or somehow heard about it, come come through, bro. Hit me up, bro. Like, cause I, I need to know, I need to know how true is this is. To the like, I know it's true, but I need, I need proof, all right? I need to make a part two of this if I'm able to find proof, all right? I know this video one day gonna get views and shit, some shit like that. So, yeah, pretty much that's that story. Yeah, there is no less of story. Is that last story is, um, not everything your grandparents told you was a lie. 
That's all I'm going to say, all right? Or we have a peaceful day. Love you all. Love you too.